Like, when were you born and where, where did you come from? <laughs> and the place came in clean. I can't remember. <laughs> Where was I born? Where was you born? Born. Yeah, what year? 1922. Right, eldest or youngest of children, how many had arrived by the time you got there? <laughs> well, that's the whole point of this. <laughs> how many before me? Yeah. How many in the household? Um, so. There's seven of you in the household. Now, I only spoke to you before, and you said that your, your mother had been widowed very young. So... Your dad died at 36. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, and... Well, did you remain in Bow, or did you move out from where you were living? Uh, um, I moved out in 1972. What, from Bow? <laughs> From your mum's house? No, not from your mum's house. Oh, so you stayed in the Bow area until 1972? Yeah. No, no, I'm not. So, you, you got you to dad's house. You lived in Stratford in the 60s. Did you met mum? You lived in Stratford in the 60s. You want to stay here? It don't get more bizarre. I'm reading questions off a plate. Um, oh. So you, you moved out of Bow in, in 72 and you went to Stratford or...? <laughs> no, wait a minute. No, you got me. <laughs> um, it's called up with 49. No, sorry. 49? The war had ended. 42. 42, yeah. 42. How long was you out? Because you went out to the Far East, didn't you? I saw the Germans off for the Japs. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I came back in 1946. Yeah. And when did you wait for your wife? I married in 1949. Yeah. I met my wife in Stratford. Stratford Town Hall. 19. 47. Right, 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 right. And what was you doing as a job between leaving the army and, and meeting your wife? As a job. Yeah, what, what job? What work did you do pre the war, pre before you get called up and when you got home? I was in the office. So, I was in a publishing, publishing firm. And how long did you do that for? 22 years. Right, right, right. I know you, you finished your time as postman, didn't you? Yeah, I came out in the 19, uh, 1977. I got my done in 1977. And then I, I joined the post office for nine years to retire. In 1985? No. No? Yeah. 87. Oh, you'd be retired in 87? Yeah. You'd be 92 otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good, good, good. good. Yeah. Um, the other thing I wanted to ask is, you've lived 90 years. For you, what was the most defining thing in your 90 years? What's been the, the, the biggest thing to happen? What, what's, what, um, because for some of us who might not live to 90, uh, due to alcohol smoking, <laughs> I'm, I'm fascinated, but I mean, you've, you've gone from, it, it's a the past is a different country, yeah? If, if you were to look, if, you, if I was to talk to a 20 year old Charlie, would you, have, would you have thought that the world's the way it is as a 20 year old? I mean, is it, 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 what, what have been the major innovations that have, you know, that where you sit down now and you think, blimey, I never saw that coming. Technology, I mean, throw everything in. Do you mind? No, no, no. I'm just, just trying to lead you on with some questions. Oh, cool. Well, I've started the questions. I don't, I don't know what that was all about. Right, so. okay. Yeah, you're not the only one. What's, what's been, for you, what's been a defining thing in your 90 years? No, it's not. Is it technology? What, what, what changes yeah, have happened? that's right, technology. So that has 
been the thing that's really. Yeah. Uh, so give us an. I mean, man on the moon, computers. What what for you? Colour TV. Yeah. Yeah. Who? <laughs> Colour TV. Colour. Colour. I mean, some, something man simple. Man on the moon. Yeah. Man on the moon. I could say that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I know you sound to me, but you're obviously coming from an environment where you have a lot of people living in very, in very tight circumstances. Are, would you have said, I know you sound to me, but the inside toilet? Obviously, when you were a younger man, you know. Do never lose. Right, but well, that's it. So you. Uh, the outside, in the garden. Yeah, yeah. The yard, that was no more. So is that ever. Is that you, you couldn't.